There's a reason in the industry we call it sunbrella and not umbrella. Bow canvas is not a fun topic. And in fact, it's a bit of a pain, but I want to tell you a little bit more about it on today's video. Hey, I'm Sean from Lensco Lessons in Boating. And now that the weather's a little bit better, we can talk more about bow covers. On today's video, we're gonna go over the different types of covers, how they're used and when you use them and how to take care of them. Let's start with the most common cover, and that is a snap-on bow and cockpit cover. So regardless of the boat style, you may find, whether it's a cruiser or a bow rider, or even a deck boat, that they may have snap-on bow and cockpit covers. They tend to be relatively low and only have a slight pitch to them, and they are smaller and easier to put on for one person because you can do it as you exit the boat. Some people don't like the way they look because they require that you drill or the manufacturer drills and install studs into the side of the fiberglass or aluminum and they are very visible on the boat. They're great for keeping the rain out and most of the UV off of particularly your interior components. Next up, we have a mooring cover or trailering cover. There are different variants of these. Some are relatively generic and fit various boats. And then, as in this Mastercraft here, they're extremely customized specifically for not only this make, but this model. They fit very, very tightly and they give you maximum protection from not only rain, but UV protection of both your interior components and a lot of the gel coat. So this gives you absolutely maximum protection, but is a little more challenging to put on, particularly at the dock, because it's hard to get up, out, and around, and over while you exit the boat. But if you're on land and putting it on, it could be a little bit easier, and they cinch really nice and tight. So these are great for rain and for sun protection. Next, we have what's called an enclosure cover. So that essentially takes an existing bimini top and then encloses it with curtains all the way around, typically down to the windshield in the back of the boat. It's great for people who want to spend time on board the boat when it's raining or keeping the bugs out, and also great for visibility if you want to drive the boat in the rain. It does give you a little less protection from UV as the clear vinyl allows some sun penetration. And there are many entrance points for water. So everywhere there's a zipper, a snap, a joint, there is the possibility that a little bit of water will drip in. They tend to be more expensive than bow and cockpit covers, but also in some ways more versatile. You'll typically see these on large day boats or cruisers. One thing to be careful of, if you run with this kind of cover down the lake, there is the potential of carbon monoxide buildup inside the cockpit and under the cover, so be very careful. A variant on the enclosure cover is what we call a pontoon enclosure. They can be from one bimini top or two, but it totally encloses the pontoon in case you want to be out in inclement weather or even for camping. A variant on the mooring cover is what we call the playpen cover. On a pontoon boat, it may have snaps along the side or little clips depending on the manufacturer and it does a really good job of keeping the sun and rain out. Okay, so now you've stuck around to the end, let's go over the do's and don'ts with covers. Don't number one, don't, in most cases, trailer your boat with any of these covers on. Watch this video for a full explanation of why. It's not that it's not possible, but we don't recommend it. Don't forget to put in any support that the cover may have. Whether it's poles or straps, they're designed to keep the rain out while your boat is sitting on the trailer or at the dock, and your cover can bag and stretch very easily if you don't use the proper supports that were designed for it. Don't leave these boats out in the winter and snow. All of the covers that we've talked about today are not designed for snow or ice load. They are only designed 
for sun and rain protection. Any amount of snow that is heavy is going to stretch. Not only will it wreck the cover, but it may hurt other components on your boat, like your windshield. The best way to store your boat in the winter is either indoors or with shrink wrap. Do always use your cover as much as possible. When you're not using the boat and the sun is out, those UV rays really beat down on the vinyls. Do cover your boat because a boat cover is half or less the price of a new vinyl interior. Do cover it in the rain. Moisture is the killer of all boats. The more we keep the moisture out, the better value and the better condition your boat will stay in the long run. Thanks for joining us on today's Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button for all kinds of boating content on how you boat and how you enjoy and get the most value. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the water.